Howard's kitchen is disgusting. You better stay away from Howard's kitchen. Look, they're gonna kill that guy, isn't that great? <laughs> Daredevil season 2 arrived last month. I like to take my time off Netflix shows because they're not going anywhere. Plus, I wasn't able to a access Netflix for a little while. No big deal. Daredevil has a new enemy, a new vigilante called the Punisher. This review contains spoilers. You've been warned. I review Daredevil season 1. It's spoiler free. You could check it out. I suggest you listen rather than watch because the lighting is horrible. I was no longer sitting under the living room lights because I felt it didn't matter much. You can barely see my face, so yeah, poor planning. Plus, I wasn't given the lighting thin much thought because I lack subscribers. I don't have a lot. Not that I care about fame. Season 2 is better than season 1. It's faster and more action packed. Yeah, season 1 was slow, but not too slow. If you prefer season 1, that's fine. I agree, season 2 feels like two plots combined. Uh, you could call it a mild Spider Man 3 situation. It's like one producer wanted Punisher and the other wanted Electra. John Burfinell plays a Punisher. He was great. In fact, he's the best Punisher. I've seen the Punisher movies. Punisher 89 was decent. Punisher 2004 was good. Punisher Warzone sucked. I thought it was decent at first. Anyway, Punisher isn't likable per se, but he's relatable. You understand why he's killing people. You're not condoning his actions, of course. In fact, you can't always root for him. He kills two people in cold blood, the first being a shady pawn shop dealer. Electra is a decent character. She's a ruthless, impulsive warrior. She and Matt dated in college. She re-enters Matt's life to request his help in defeating The Hand, an ancient ninja organization working with the Yakuza. The Hand is deadly. You really don't want to mess with him. They influence the Foot Clan in Ninja Turtles, anyway. They're seeking a mysterious weapon called the Black Sky. It was mentioned in Season 1. Season 2 doesn't really explain it. Someone says Electra is a Black Sky. This season doesn't answer every question. Marvel is taking chances. Fucking Nelson is likable. He's funny sometimes. His friendship with Matt gets strained in both seasons. I recently realized Elson Hansen, the actor who plays him, was in the Mighty Duck series. Wouldn't it be funny if Foggy were to bash his skulls? Maybe not. Punisher and Daredevil first meet in Episode 1. They fight at the end. They fight again in Episode 2. Punisher captures Daredevil in Episode 3. He chains him up. They have a long, serious discussion about their different ideologies. Their performances were great. That's powerful acting. After Daredevil breaks free, he's forced to fight some bikers. They fight on a stairway. This fight's awesome. Apparently, it's all shot in one take. It's well choreographed. This whole shaky cam bullshit. Was it better than the awesome hallway fight in Season 1, Episode 2? Absolutely. When Daredevil premiered, maybe some people were shocked by the violence. Daredevil was still really violent. It's bloody, it's gruesome. It makes the movie look like child's play. You want to see a gruesome fight scene? Daredevil Season 2 was fun. It was dark, but not too dark. It's action-packed and well-acted. Luke Cage comes out in very late September. I'm not looking forward to it, but yeah, I'll watch it. As always, thanks for watching, guys. You could check out my Rogue One trailer review if you haven't already. Warning, the lighting sucks. I seen the boss today. It sucked. I'll talk to you later.